today. Free shipping and handling, only quantities of our season. These are literally gorgeous and very winter hardy. Mm -hmm. So that means if you live somewhere up here where you get a frost, you're good to go. Oh my goodness. Not only does Definitely it have the here. most fun name of any plant I've ever heard of. This is it's, the after. It's probably, <laughs> this, is, yeah. this is probably the best hydrangea you can grow. And when you ask people, do you love hydrangea? The answer is unanimously, yes. I don't know anyone that doesn't love hydrangea because of their large flowers, but these have some of the world's largest flowers. They grow about 12 to 16 inches and they just are just on the blooms just on the flowers <laughs> and they all stand up very nice and straight because they have these thick sturdy they stems thick. they are gorgeous Gosh. and they will start off this creamy angelic white and then as the summer goes on they will actually uh, age into a beautiful pink from the bottom of the flower up wow. and all summer long as well they're also extending the flowers the flowers will get larger as the summer progresses here you can see the pink at the bottom the white at the top eventually they become just about all pink and these will be blooming about five months every single year look at those enormous flowers okay we've got to tell you something else that i love about these and that is hydrangeas normally are like always thirsty. Oh my gosh. And you you have, have to water yeah. them every day, every year, every year, every yes, year, every exactly. day. Exactly. What about these? Not these. You know, I love the mop head hydrangeas. A lot of people do, but you have to baby those. They got, you have to go out water them every single day. But this hydrangea, this is called a hydrangea paniculata. And what that means, these are you can treat them like a tree. The first year, like all plants, you need to water it in. But after the first year, they have established these root system that goes very deep into the earth. You treat it like a tree. And what that means is you don't water it. You don't care for it. You don't have to do anything. And they're still going to reliably wow. produce these flowers up to five months every year. That's amazing. Now, <laughs> I've got a quick, um, now, don't hydrangeas need to be in kind of an acidic soil? Well, that's a great question. A lot of hydrangeas, the different soils is going to affect the colors of the flowers. Yes. But these do not care the what the pH of your soil is. They don't care what kind of soil is. You're always gonna have these beautiful flowers that start off white and then they age to this beautiful pink. Ah. And the other thing that I love about them is that you can prune these any time during the year. You can prune them in wow. the fall, the winter, the spring, or the summer, and you never have to worry, oh, did I just prune off my flower buds? Yeah. Because these are actually going to produce their flowers on the new growth. So you can keep them any shape you want, prune them whenever you want, and you're still gonna get flowers, no problem. And show us that vase and yes. what you can do. Yeah. I mean, you, pay, you cut off five. Right. And That's look all at you need. That. Yeah, you I know, mean, we were with Mary Nelson this morning and yeah. she was saying how hydrangea was her wedding flower. Oh, and this wow. would be the most gorgeous wedding flower. Maybe the yes. Sumatra lily uh, yeah. would be the second best, but uh -huh. I think this would be even better because the flowers are huge, 12 to 16 inches. That's amazing. Now, here's the other thing. These are going the plant itself is going to grow 6 to 8 feet tall. Do I need to stake it? No, you don't because like I was saying earlier, they have the thickest, sturdiest stems. They have a very bushy growth. So they're only going to grow about six to eight feet tall. So some of my favorite ways to see them in the garden, yeah. you know, uh, first of all, I'd say every garden in the country has a spot for this plant. And oh, yeah. I would say every garden should have this plant. And they're also going out the door very fast. So if you want to get this, especially at this price, $24.36, it's brand new today, free shipping and handling, place your orders quickly. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to buy an, uh, a, a first home for my first time. And ah. what I'm thinking I'm going to do, instead of putting up a fence, I'm going to put a row of these. And these will be like a living oh. fence or a hedge that produces huge uh, billows of flowers for wow. five months every single year. They also look gorgeous right at the foundation of your home yes. because they're not going to grow 10 feet tall like a lot of other hydrangeas. Yeah. They stay more compact and bushy and you see the colors of these flowers are 
absolutely phenomenal. And you get the flowers really from, you know, you say summer through fall, right? Definitely. They're going to start to produce their flowers in May and they're going to last all the way through the uh, end of the first frost. Wow. So this is one of the most reliable hydrangeas you can grow. And we all love hydrangeas, but a lot of them are not reliable. Right. If you prune them at the wrong time, you're going to lose your flowers. Not if you these. don't water them every day, you're going to lose your flowers. Not these. If you're going <laughs> to, if your winter is too cold, you're going to lose your flowers. Not these. Not these. <laughs> These can handle the negative part. 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my goodness. This and so this is this what, is what you you're receiving. Out. Yes. So we paired up with the, the guys over at Proven Winners who are uh, they do similar things to us. They find the very best varieties and only offer the very best varieties. So it was a natural collaboration. You're getting this large plant that's um, already gone through its uh, full first winter. So when you plant this, you go along maybe the back of your garden beds, um, the back of the border, right. next to your, right next to your front door, flanked yeah. on either side, I think is gorgeous. Oh, wow. I was just thinking like what you were saying was you can create almost like a hedge Certainly. of these. Yes. If you want to, you know, kind of make a line of where right. your property ends or Definitely. something. Definitely, and kind that, of thing. what I love about that look, you have the hydrangeas in the back. Then in front of those, you have the day lilies. Uh -huh. Then in front of those, you have your Sumatra lilies. In front of that, you have your ice plant. That's how you create that gorgeous uh -huh. finished look in the garden wow. that is so effortless List. Yeah. These plants, after they're established, they never need water. You don't have to worry about pruning them unless you want to. Right. They like the sun or the part shade, so that's what they're I was just very versatile. Ask. Okay. Yeah. So that's amazing. And you were, I was going to say, how long will it take to go from this is what ships out? Yes to, and now 2,000 of these already gone. So you hold that one, because I yeah. don't think I can so, lift it. Yeah, so what you have in your hand is what you receive at home. Yeah. And what I have in my hand is what your plant is gonna look like about midway to the end of the first season. So you can okay. see they're very yeah. fast growers, and they will eventually reach heights of about six to eight feet tall wow. if you want them. So get a few of these. Maybe if you have like a, a the back of your garden is maybe 20, 30 feet long, mm -hmm. get maybe four or five, plant one here, five feet over to the right, plant another one, and create this gorgeous hedge wow. of these beautiful hydrangeas with these 10 to 16 yeah. inch flower cones. That you don't have to do much no. past the first season. Yes. That's the thing. Now, during the first season, you need to water them quite a bit. Right, well, right? not quite a bit, just oh, normal. Just normal. All plants, okay. it doesn't matter what your plant is, the first season while they're making their root system, yeah. you want to make sure to keep them nice and watered. Yeah. And I love seeing them uh, with the Shasta daisies in front because both of these plants oh, are very, beautiful. very drought tolerant. <gasps> and the pinky winky, it starts yeah. off as that creamy white and then it starts to age into this beautiful blush pink wow and it just grows and extends its bloom season isn't that a look gorgeous that. look that is beautiful that's and how you, you do know, it these are gonna spread as well yes and here's the thing this is brand new today so just when you think you've seen it all we've had flowers here from Roberta's for since January this is brand new today we haven't brought in anything like this it's our only quantities of the season and as I said more than 2,000 of these have just been ordered so if you want to get these make sure you go to the phone now and pull out your tablets your um, iPhones your Androids whatever and download that QVC app for free and quickly go and order. Um, I just want to remind you now 2,500 of these are gone. So just in case you missed part of this, you can prune these anytime. They have very sturdy stems. They are once established, no more watering. You can treat them like a tree and basically not think about it again. And look at, look at that, that gorgeous in a look. Yeah, this is a real wow. showy plant. Everyone loves hydrangeas because of their huge flowers. Yeah. But a lot of the hydrangeas, they need a lot of watering. You know, you have to worry about them if your and winters are soil. too cold. The soil, you have to make sure it's the right pH. Not the this hydrangea is the ultimate hydrangea because for one, you have these beautiful flowers that are yeah. 12 to 16 inches. Oh, they gosh. can be pruned at any time, so you don't have mm. to worry about when do I have to prune my hydrangea or else, you know, am I gonna be 
ruining my, my flowers. Yeah. Um, these can handle the droughts oh, with ease. And beautiful. they are th so winter hardy. So if you live in the north part of the country, Minnesota, mm -hmm. you plant this right in the earth. You live in the south part of the country, you plant it right in the earth. Yeah. Anyone in the country is going to love wow. having this hydrangea. I want to give you a quick update. We started four, with 4,000 of these. 1,100 oh, wow. remain. Save me five. <laughs> yes, five is a good number. Yeah, five yeah, is a because good number. You can, you and can it's really... worth it because you know what? I want to make a hedge out of yes. these. And that would be so awesome. Here's the thing I want to quickly remind you is that you are not billed until they ship out and we will ship, or Roberta's will ship yeah. them. We, they don't come to us. They come straight from Roberta's. Right. Roberta's ships them out when it's time in your part of the country to plant them. Every one of the, their plants comes with a planting guide. And so it tells you exactly what to right. do, not only how to plant it, how to take care of it, what to do in the winter. It tells you all of that. Never throw those away. Keep them in a shoebox or something. Yeah, you know, this plant, it couldn't be easier. You yeah. said it all. This is one of the most rewarding hydrangeas you can have in your garden in my opinion it is probably the world's finest because it will handle any sort of conditions it is the most reliable blooming hydrangea wow. we've ever come across and that is so important in the world of hydrangeas and it can have full sun to full partial sun to part shade. shade yeah so and you, uh, and you yeah you can definitely you can cut the flowers dry them for the winter bring them indoors oh, bring the wow. cut flowers into a vase it's absolutely wow. gorgeous 400 plants left wow. out of 4000 and they're brand new today. And you're getting them one plant for less than $25. And I just think it's gorgeous. It's winter hardy. It's just, it's got everything. Like you yes. said, it's the hydrangea to own. It totally. Out of all hydrangeas. Definitely. Six to eight feet tall, six to eight feet wide. We also have one more thing we want to bring back to you. And I think, Devin, you're coming with yes, me. Yes, I, I am. Okay, we offered you one other great item that was brand new this, uh, I was gonna say summer. <laughs> this Not quite. Um, spring, this April actually, brand new in April. We started with 17,000 of these. I'll give you the update of how many are left. Free shipping 